rookie name. Now, against Becker, he'll feel the same way. He can come out fiery, big serve, big ground strokes. If he's hesitant, he'll have a lot of trouble. So, this is a situation where Lendl is trying to hold on and trying to tell people that he is still one of the best tennis players in the world. He's already proven that he's still one of the five or ten best. But to go above that level and to be number one above, say, Courier, Agassi, Sampras, Edberg, and perhaps Boris Becker, this is the type of match he needs to win. Them in that sense. And Becker begins the match by breaking Lendl's serve. We've seen a lot of matches so far this year where the sandwich between. Just barely got the ball back and right away was behind in the point. Now Becker did the same thing there. Is that just a conscious point to get the Becker hold? He's here, Ted. He's right back in the thick of things in the top four. Like a good match, plus I've played them both, and uh, maybe you can relate a little better. Well, a lot of people have been asking, What have you been up to lately? We haven't really seen you out in the tennis court. I've just taken a break from, from tennis for about a year and a few months now, and, and just doing things that I like to do. And uh, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start playing again, or if I'm gonna just take uh, not start again, I, I just have to wait and see. And, if the inspiration comes back, I might start. If not, then uh, find something else to do. Do you know what would give you that inspiration to start up tennis again? No, I think you feel that if the desire comes back to uh, be willing to put in a few hours every day, and uh, then uh, yeah, I see no reason why I should, wouldn't start. But it hasn't come back yet, so I'm not sure. Let's see. How about watching your uh, Greenwich neighbor here? Will that give you any inspiration, do you think? Mm, well, yeah, sort of. I guess it's it's uh, it's nice to see that there's still some players around that are that are 30 and, and more. You know, I think it's it's encouraging for for at least for me. I'm I'm only 28, but it feels like you know these guys are still out here. So there's no reason why you can't do it yourself if you want to. Most players have been at the top. When you talk to them, they have a difficult time sitting on the sidelines just watching. How's the experience been for you so far tonight? No, no, it's not not a problem at all. I think it's. Uh, I enjoy watching tennis. I watch a bit on on TV, and uh, it's. I think even for me, I, you forget. You keep watching on TV, and you're never around the pro circuit. And when you come to see them play live, then 
you know, you've forgotten how fast the game actually is, and it's, no, I just enjoy it. Well, I'm fun. sure there are many people out there who will be hoping very much to see you back on the tennis court. Thanks very much, Matt Svilander, and back to you. It's good to see him around. Of course, both of you can... And we stay on serve in the first. Lendl is still the winningest player in matches here in the Open during the Open era. Sampras moving up. That's very impressive for a young player. And Becker fifth. Oh. <laughs> Followed up by an equal big mm. forehand from Yvonne Lendl. Neither in the Open. Second ace by Lendl. The bigger serve than it would be go out wide. Wow. to serve tonight on the IBM gun. Ted, it's a real intelligent tiebreaker he's played up to this point. Mixing up the depth and also recognizing that Lendl is having a problem going back. Good serve. Meadows. In den letzten Jahren hieß es Becker mit Oberschenkelverletzung nicht in der Lage zu spielen. Hier passt er gut auf. Da ist nichts passiert. Vielleicht eine kleine Schürfwunde dazu. Die Knie. I don't know if Boris was aware of the fact that we went to the. and it fooled bars. And this is the kind of game you would like to play right after a break. A real solid one. Mm -hmm. So many times you see it happen where you get broken back. You play tentatively trying to protect the lead instead of increasing your lead.
Ein typischer Ballwechsel zwischen Lendl und Becker. Typisch für. Wird gut gegeben, aber dann noch besser. So you win this set, but that's the way I'm going to play you for the rest of this. That was a little. Opportunity for you, and unless you really move your feet, get into position, it's very easy to misplay those shots. Eins, eins, im dritten. 